Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today we are going to learn how to find square root using long division method. This is very interesting and very important also. We are going to start the first question, finding square root of 625. See, let's suppose you want to find square root of 625. First step should be start making pairs from the end like this 25 and this 6. No doubt 6 is alone, that's not a problem. But we have got two pairs now, one is 6 and one is 25. We need to start from the first pair. Firstly, you should think this 6, is this 6 a perfect square? Answer is no, this is not a perfect square. Then which is the perfect square lesser than 6, smaller than 6? It is 4, right? If 4 is a perfect square, what I am going to do, I will divide, multiply 2 with 2 and we will get 4. Do remember, we always need to take perfect squares only. So that is why 2 multiplied 2, I am getting 4. Then do the subtraction. 6 minus 4 is 2 and this 25 full pair, it will come down. In long division method, Pairs comes down always. Now we have got 225. Listen to the next step. How next step should be done? Always add this 2 and 2. You will get 4. 2 and 2 are added. You get 4. This is the fixed step. Always you need to do. Then place a blank here. Why I am placing a blank? Because I should remember that I need to write something here. It can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, anything. But whatever I will write here, for example, I write 1 here. It becomes 41. That means 41 needs to be multiplied with 1 to write the number. If you are thinking about 2, 42, that means 42 should be multiplied by 2. Going in this way, you can try out 3, 4 numbers. What I am getting, I should write 5 here. Why? Because when 45 is multiplied with 5, I will get 225 and my remainder will be 0. That means square root of 625 is 25. I hope this method is clear. We are going to do more questions so that you have more clarity on how to perform the questions. Let me start the next one. Next one is 1296. You can check it very carefully. 1, 2, 9, 6 square root, we are going to start. Okay, let us see. 1, 2, 9, 6. I am writing in the same way. 1, 2, 9, 6. Right? Make the pairs. See, one pair is 96, one pair is 12. Now, 12 is not a perfect square, right? You need to find out perfect square lesser than 12, which is 9. That means... 3 multiply 3 is 9. This is what we are going to do. 12 minus 9 is 3. 96 comes down. Okay, it is 396 now. Now what to do? 3 plus 3. The same way we did earlier. 3 plus 3 is 6. Now what should I write along with this? So that multiplication becomes proper. It can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4. Like 64 multiply by 4. Because I know that 4 multiply 4, it gives 16 at the end, 6 at the end. Let me try it. Let us see if it is applicable or not. 4 times 4 is 16, but it is 2, 256. That means it is not applicable. Then other than 4, next value is 6, which I can try. That means 66 should be multiplied by 6. I know that it is 396 going to be. And your remainder will be 0. That means square root of 1296 is 36. Your answer is this upper value. 36 is the answer. I hope you are able to understand it. Now check the last one according to this square root of 2304. You can also try it. I am also going to show you how the square root of 2304 can be found easily. Okay, let us start. 2, 3, 0, 4. Write it. And 
make the pairs from the end i know that my first pair is 23 which is not a perfect square 23 so lesser than that 16 is the perfect square right that means i need to go with 4 4 multiply 4 is 16 23 minus 16 is 7 0 4 comes down i get 7 0 4 it's a routine step now 4 plus 4 is 8 now make a space here something to be written now is there any number if you do the square you will get 4 at the end there are two options one is 2 because 2 square is 4 second option is 8 because 8 square is 64 which ends with 4 so what i am trying here i should write 8 here because 88 multiply 8 it seems it will be 704 right you can try out after doing exact multiplication so square root of 2304 is it is coming as 48 this 48 is the final answer i hope you are clear with long division method you can try out some questions at home and in case you face any problem you can write to us will definitely reply thank you so much